guys I'm back again with another video um, for today's video I'm just kind of winging it I didn't have anything planned uh, I really didn't even have planned to do all of these mods but unfortunately my good friend is selling his WRX luckily for me I got first dibs on all of his parts so I'm super excited about the video um, there's a lot that's going into today's video uh, a lot of uninstalling off of his car and installing onto my car so since I didn't have plan to do this I haven't even researched um, much about how to install any of these parts um, I'm basically gonna be depending on his knowledge and basically holding the flashlight for him <laughs> no I'm just kidding but uh, I will be helping out but for the most part he's the expert on all of this since he already installed it on his car so um, like I said I'm winging it and we're gonna see how it goes we got a lot of goodies. We're doing the Cobb access port. We're doing catted uh, J-pipe, uh, colder intake, cat back exhaust. Uh, we're gonna do a front lip. We're gonna do side skirts. So that car is about to get a huge makeover. It's gonna feel awesome. Um, really, I didn't plan on doing all these mods until sometime next year. I was just focused on um, just the cosmetics, uh, the suspension and stuff like that. Um, which is why I haven't done a video lately. I'm still waiting on, I ordered AirTech uh, Air Struts to go with my Airlift 3P management system. And they've been on back order for like a month and a half. I should get them in like two or three weeks. But um, yeah, that's about it. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll give you a quick update not much has changed with the Subaru till this day, so uh, I'll give you a quick update on what's done to the Subaru. If you're a new subscriber, I'll catch you up to date. Not much has changed. You guys know I did the daytime running sea lights. I opened up the housing and um, blacked out all the chrome. Um, I have rally armor mud flaps. One thing that is new, I added a Rhino Rack roof rack and a Yakima uh, load warrior roof basket I feel like it kind of completes the Subaru look that's the really the only the newest thing that I've added to the car uh, as far as the inside you guys know I have the Boomba short throw shifter uh, the Grim Speed shift knob a weighted shift knob um, and of course I did the shifter bushing and all of that good stuff. Aside from that, I did some LEDs on the inside. Like I said, not really too many changes. The car is extremely dirty right now. It's super cold. I'll show you guys. 36 degrees outside, so it's super cold. But um, that's about it. I haven't, like I said, I haven't really changed too much. And here comes my buddy right now, pulling up in that Subi. Look at this beauty. All right, so we got Yuli's car on the ramps, letting it cool down so we can start taking parts off. We're gonna go grab some coffee and hit AutoZone for a couple things. Check out this man's gear though, hold on, hold on. Damn. <laughs> What a beautiful sight. Two World Rally Blue Subarus. Usually I do kind of like a tutorial style video, but we have so many parts that we're swapping. Uh, I don't think I would have time to do that. That would take forever. So I'm just gonna kind of vlog like what's going on. Right now, Ulysses is at work disassembling his car. What are you doing right now, Yuli? Right now, I'm taking everything underneath to uh, remove the J pipe all the way to the full cap. All right. So, yeah, this one's getting disassembled. And then we'll put that on ramps and then start disassembling that. Jeez, I can't get over how beautiful this side is. Alright guys, so I'm going to start 
taking off the small stuff. I'm taking off these rain guards. I'm gonna heat it up with this and get the adhesive nice and loose, nice and hot. And after that, I'll probably start doing the little um, side skirt lip, front lip. It's gonna be a huge makeover for my Subi. All right, so I got the first one off, and I gotta take the other four. Really still working with the J-pipe right now. And I'm moving right along. All right guys, so Ulysses is almost done. Taking off the J-pipe, and he took off the quarter intake. And the front lip over there. So we're moving right along. Then I got, got these mounted up there. Looks nice. Yeah, I haven't been able to record too much, but we're just doing what we can. All right, guys. So we got the cob coated intake. And we got Turbo Excess J pipe. He's got all of that disconnected, and now he's putting in work on my car. We also got the J and front lip that's going on too. Thanks to Ulysses, he's putting in hella work. But he's done this before, so he knows exactly what to do. And I'm completely lost. Alright guys, sorry I know this video is kind of all over the place, um, but it's just like I said, spur of the moment. Uh, I was thinking about not recording it, but I think so much stuff is being done to the car, I at least got to uh, vlog and record some of it. I really like to be a little more organized when I record and uh, kind of have like a game plan, but just kind of winging it. So, hope you guys enjoy and um, I'm excited to see how my Subi ends up turning out after all of these mods. All right, we got the colder intake going in. Thing is moving right along. Stock intake going back into Yuli's. My boy done busted his shit. Oh, it's just a top layer. And I'm busting knuckle tings. Hey, what's up, guys? So, we had to wrap it up. This is going to have to wait till tomorrow. Uh, we we're missing a couple bolts um, for the J-pipe. So, in the meantime, we did the coder intake. And we did the front lip, the side skirts. And, uh, yeah, we're going to have to make... A part two it'll all be in one video but of course you know uh, unfortunately we couldn't finish it today but I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like all right guys so you can see we got the front lip on there um, let me try to focus on this. makes it look a whole lot lower and then we got the side skirts on there and then of course we did get the um rain guards and it's it's coming together real nice like i said um tomorrow we'll finish it up but it was a pretty productive day all right guys so like i said i'll see you guys tomorrow um this will all be on the same video but for today i say it was pretty productive so see you guys later all right, what's up guys? We're back day two of this install. Hopefully today we'll get it completed. What ended up happening is on the J-pipe, two of the bolts got rounded off a little bit. And since we didn't have the, the correct stuff, we're gonna try to get it out with bolt extractor and a torch. So that hopefully should do the job. Um, I'm pretty sure it will do the job, so I'll keep you guys up there. <laughs> So Ulysses is working on that now. 
unfortunately yesterday we had to we took the j pipe off of this one and we had to put it back on similar deal with this one we had it halfway off we had to put it back on just so he could be able to go home and i had a dinner date with my wife so we had family duties yep today i think we'll be victorious let's take this time to appreciate how pretty this cob intake is huh Doing a video. Yeah, engine base starting to look right. Big money. I mean, I, of course, we gotta change this one out because. Oh. All right, guys. So basically, we were successful. We took out the three J pipe bolts, and we didn't even have to use the torch. We didn't even have to use the uh, rounded off extractor um, socket. I don't know how Ulysses did it, but um, it's good because now we have this just in case whatever, if we ever run into an issue, you should always have a torch around for whatever issue. So, all right, we're on to something now, guys. Big moves, big moves. All right, guys, so we ended up having to use the, the rounded um, nut extractor for this one, and it worked like a beauty. It's like, it's magic. You can see how it's got little teeth to bite Hello. the nut. All right, guys. So now we're going to AutoZone in his car to get some new bolts for the J-pipe. Um, so yeah, everything's going good so far. We're one step closer to getting the J-pipe on there, and that's the last of it. Look how beautiful it's looking. It looks so much more aggressive. Right now, this is what his car sounds like with a J-Pipe and an NVIDIA single exit exhaust. Sounds really good. All right, guys, so we got my stock downpipe going in his car, and here's the catted J-Pipe that's gonna go in my car. So we got all of these disassembled, and now it's time to put it all back together. <clears throat> Yuli is working his magic. But you guys can kind of see the difference. And I'll keep you guys updated. Alright guys, see you going in. Alright guys, we're down to the last step. Is installing the access port. So, everything else is done. Except for, on his car, he needs to put the stock exhaust and as far as my car it's good to go so stay tuned all right guys i know this video has been all over the place it's um i don't even know where i am with the vlog but I'm about to get a cold start on so it's a quarter intake catted down pipe and it's got I'm, I'm keeping the stock mufflers uh for now to figure out what i want to do with that and yeah this is going to be the first start all right, Yuli. Guys, so it's not too loud or anything like that it's like it's wild but tame uh, i'm liking it so far it's a lot better than the stock exhaust so she sounds good so yeah guys um the with the stock mufflers it sounds pretty good it's a lot better than my stock exhaust setup you can hear the turbo whistle and Man, I'm really liking it, guys. 
now we just gotta button that back up with the stock exhaust and we'll be all set we're doing the first test drive on the new setup so Alright guys, so that's going to wrap it up for this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the mod overload. Like I said, this was super last minute. Uh, I'm extremely happy because I didn't expect to have all these mods, especially not this weekend. It all happened one day to another. So <clears throat> shout out to Ulysses. Not only did he um, hook me up with all of these parts, uh, he also installed it, you know, so um, huge help. I really appreciate him i'm gonna leave a link to his instagram if anyone wants to follow him and just uh keep up with some of his own builds um yeah just look at how aggressive it looks now looks amazing all right guys so that's gonna wrap it up for this video thank you guys so much for watching if you made it this far i really appreciate it um I hope you like this kind of video. I'm just gonna throw everything together. I'm not gonna do much editing. Just slap it all together and post it. Um, yeah, I have big plans in the future for this build, so just stay tuned and see what's in store. Um, like I said, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, see whenever I post. And um, yeah, until next time, guys.